There is a popular misconception amongst many consumers out there about these new and old crossover pickups. When I refer to crossover pickups, I'm talking about vehicles like the brand new Hyundai Santa Cruz and the brand new Ford Maverick and the not so brand new Honda Ridgeline. Believe it or not, they're actually very different vehicles and you can really tell the difference when it comes to what counts the most and that is the beds. I wanted to talk about numbers for the Santa Cruz bed, for the Maverick bed and of course the Honda Ridgeline bed because this is where a lot of this confusion kind of kicks in. You see, the Santa Cruz kind of competes with the Ford Maverick in terms of overall size and capability, but neither of them really compete with the Honda Ridgeline, which is technically, in terms of size, a mid-sized truck. So, what am I talking about? Well, bed size. Why? Because it's an itty bitty bed. Unfortunately, the model we have right now, the tester does have this. Now this actually cuts into the bed size and because its box is fairly large, it really does cut into space. Now, according to most, it has the Hyundai 52.1 inches of length, but you may notice that actually the real length is closer to 51. What they're counting is this extra space in here but bear in mind that you have to have the tailgate down in order to use this space so i think that's kind of a silly measurement i would say it's pretty much 51 inches of usable space at its maximum if you measure upwards you work up to about 48 inches if that box weren't there because the structure of the bulkhead actually comes inward that's for better passenger comfort but it also takes away from the bed length your maximum width is according to them just over 51 inches now between the wheel wells, and bear in mind they don't intrude very much, it's showing about 42 inches. So that's actually pretty decent, especially if you decide to go a little bit higher because you get around, well, over 48 inches on top of the wheel wells. That means that you'll be able to put a four by eight piece of ply if you're running it outwards. And then of course you'll have to put something here in order to keep it level. But they have lots of goodies for that. This bed does have lots of other components that allow for wood, if you look right here, to be put in slots so you have a second level. And that way you can load things above and below it. But there's more storage, and there's one on the other side as well. And the tailgate is about 21 inches. It's just actually a hair over that. And the reason why I mention that is because if I close this, that's how deep it is to reach in, around 21 inches. Hyundai took a chapter from Honda's playbook with the Ridgeline, and that's with this. Oh my goodness gracious! So, if you're looking at having extra cargo that can be secured and locked once the tailgate's up and locked, you can do that. However, you may notice, when you compare that to the Hondas, it's not as big. There's a reason for that. You see, this vehicle has its spare tire underneath and exposed but it also compresses the amount of space that's in that compartment. Moving on to the Ford Maverick. Now, this is actually a very different vehicle in terms of its overall build. Ford wanted to make this hold the most, despite the fact that it's not as big as the Honda, because its overall volume is really close to the Honda's. Now, and we'll get to the volume at the very end of this video. But I will say this, it's a very simple bed, and you can get it without this protection. Unlike the other two beds, which are pretty much a composite, this one is steel, and then they have a bed liner that comes in later. Okay, very simple bed layout. That's about 54 and a half inches long. Not a lot of curves and all that to make it difficult to measure. But what about the width? Well, the width is actually interesting because you have two things going on. You have the maximum bed width, which is 54.4 inches maximum but what about between the wheel wells well that's interesting because the wheel wells once again they don't intrude very much because this isn't a conventional pickup truck right and so according to this yep that looks about right that is 42.6 inches now here's the important part if you have a 4x8 sheet applied and yes we're using that as a regular measurement you can put that on top of the wheel wells similar to the hyundai but much longer bed so if you have that long piece of ply that's sitting on top of the wheel wells, you can lift the tailgate up 
which will give you a flat surface going out the back between the wheel well and the top of this, which is really helpful. All right, so the tailgate is 22 and a half inches, which is basically the bed depth. Now, something very interesting because even though this is a smaller bed than the Honda's, it's a deeper bed. And because of that, <laughs> it holds a lot more than you might think. There is a spare tire under here, but because there's no internal bed, an extra bed or a storage compartment, it's no big deal. The Honda bed is much bigger, at least from a visual standpoint. It is a lot wider, it is a lot longer. There's a lot going on with the tailgate as well. And once again, this is in a different class. It's considered a larger class than the other two. Well, according to Honda, 63.6 inches in terms of length. Although in terms of usable space, it's really about 63 inches. That's still more than the other two. But what about width? In the Honda Ridgeline, you have about 50 inches between the wheel wells. And the wheel wells are tiny, they barely protrude. Now that's good news because in between these little wheel wells, you can actually put in your four by eight sheet of ply. But what about on top of the wheel wells? Now, if you go above this little lip here on top of the wheel well, maximum width is 60 inches. There is a lot going on with the tailgate. For one thing, 18 and three quarters in terms of inches with length, but that's also basically your bed depth, which isn't a lot. However, considering how high this vehicle is, it does matter, but there's so much more going on. For one thing, you can open it up this way. Some people really do like that. Some people don't. But what that also gives you is access to its in-bed storage, which is, by comparison, massive. You also have a spare tire, which is over there. Now, there's two things about that. One, it does stay out of the elements by being in there. But two, if you have a full load in here and you have a flat tire, you're gonna have to remove that load in order to access this in order to get to the tire. So there's good and bad. Oh, there's one more thing, more storage. Now, by the way, the Ford had some storage, little tiny storage cubby over here. I wanted to talk about lift over because you'd be surprised how different these vehicles are. Now, bear in mind that if you get different packages or different tires, they can be a little bit lower, a little bit higher, but basically they're about the same. So this one is about 33 and a half inches high, meaning that if you're lifting something off the ground, that's how high you're gonna have to lift it to get it in here. Let me show you the Ford. Now the Ford is a lot lower. It's lift over is approximately, and bear in mind, once again, this is approximate. Yep, here we go. Just over 29 inches. So 29 inches off the ground to lift something up and over and get it into the bed. Now the Honda's kind of an odd duck because there's two different lift overs, basically. When you put down the bed, lift over height is approximately about 37 inches. Actually, I'd say 36 and three quarters. But that changes a little bit when you open it up this way. Come on over here, let me show you. So this is how high it is over here. So the tailgate's not popping upward, so to speak. And because of that, uh, this gives us just about 36 inches or 35 and a half inches of lift over. One final note that I promised I would get back to, and that is maximum cargo capacity because the Honda Ridgeline, it has a maximum cargo capacity of 39.9 cubic feet. The Ford Maverick is a little bit different. Maximum cargo volume is 33.3 .3 cubic feet. Finally, it's the Hyundai Santa Cruz, 18.8 .8 cubic feet of cargo space. Now, that's a big difference. Keep in mind that both the Hyundai and the Honda have in-bed cargo, which gives them more space. But in terms of actual usable cargo space, you can see there's a massive difference between all three of them. For many DIY people, trucks in this class are becoming extremely important and you're going to see more in the near future. As a matter of fact, we know that many manufacturers are looking at the sales of these vehicles to gauge whether or not they're going to compete, and they will. So for your dollar, what's more important? having something smaller, but perhaps a little bit more car-like, very close to being a truck, but really not being a truck because it's still a car, or having something that's the size of a mid-sized truck, but it's still kind of a car. Actually, I call them crossover pickups, and for a good reason, because they're all based on crossover platforms. Thanks for joining me for the Fastlane Truck 
TFL Car and everybody else. This is Nathan. See you next time.